Hello, I'm Abby Abelson. I'm the interim chair of the Department of Rheumatology at Cleveland Clinic, and I'm the author of the Cleveland Clinic Guide to Osteoporosis. And I'm so glad to talk to you about this book. I'm really excited to share the information in this book, and I hope that it will help you understand the area of osteoporosis. As a rheumatologist, I've been treating patients with osteoporosis uh, for the last 20 years. But what really inspired me to write this book for patients and families is my experience in my own family with osteoporosis. When my previously completely healthy and active mom slipped in a bank one day and fractured her hip. And it really made me focus on what can really happen to people when they have a fracture from osteoporosis. What I, what I share with people in this book is the fact that osteoporosis is completely without symptoms until a fracture occurs, uh, but it can lead to tremendous pain and disability as well as loss of life. Over 10 million Americans will have fractures from osteoporosis, and 80% of those are women. We do have a chapter in the book on the fact that 20% of people with osteoporosis are men. Uh, for postmenopausal women, uh, the chance of having a fracture is 50% uh, from the age of 50 on. Uh, so this is something that could very well affect you. Uh, it is more common than breast cancer, uh, ovarian cancer, and uh, heart disease. So it's something that everybody should know about. And what I do in the book is I talk about the risk factors that you need to be aware of so that if you can talk to your doctor, you can get a bone density test that will tell you whether you have osteoporosis. We also go into the uh, treatment options as well as things that you can do in your daily life uh, like increasing calcium, uh, taking vitamin D, and incorporating a good weight-bearing exercise routine into your daily routine. I talk about the fact that gender and being thin and certain medications and certain other medical conditions can predispose people to low bone mass. Uh, we talk in the book about bone density testing and we talk about some of the new ways that your doctors will use to assess whether you are at risk for a fracture. We have a section at the end that talks a lot about some of the new treatment options on the horizon. So there really is hope. What we try to do is give you information so that you can talk to your doctor about osteoporosis or low bone mass and that you can incorporate wellness behaviors into your own life that will increase your bone density, decrease your risk of osteoporosis, and decrease your risk of fracture. My aim with this book is to help everyone avoid the preventable fractures from osteoporosis and help you have more information so that you can effectively talk with your doctor about this very prevalent condition. I hope that it's helpful and good day. Thank you.